Tuskegee Airmen. We haven't seen them all night. Come on, up, 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 up. You forgot what you got on your back? Yeah. Just, oh, he's gonna come all the way out to the front. More of my time. All right, turn around, turn around. Tuskegee Airmen, you see that? Oh, one of the great, great heroes. Great record. They're, the ships, the planes that they guarded got through. I have nothing to add to that. It's not a joke. But I saw, I saw Rick Santorum on uh, Facebook, and he called Obama a government mm, nig. A government nig. Now, believe me, I was taught there were only two times it was okay for me to use the N-word. One was when I was dying, and the other was when I wanted to die. <laughs> so I don't know why Rick Santorum is still running. He said the N-word, he should be off by now. But, you know, what do I care? I, there are lots of jokes to be gotten from him. Um, they're, I'm not cool. I'm totally unhip. For a long time, I thought Sanjay West was an airline. <laughs> The it goes. My daughter says to me, that's my daughter right over there, I'm going to keep it clean tonight, okay, those are our instructions. My daughter says to me, Daddy, don't look at those young girls, they're too young for you. And I said, oh, I'm thinking about their lovely mothers. She says, their mothers are too young for you. So I get on the, I look for the grandmothers online, but all I get back are money shots, you know. Pictures of women who look like Ulysses S. Grant and Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. So I decided this is the field I have to. You just got it, didn't you? No. You just got to sprinkle through it. So I decided this is the field I have to plow. I shall uh, have to sharpen my tool. I'll have to give a little lift to my balloon. I'll have to uh, stiffen my back. I'll stiffen my resolve. I'll have to put some wood in my wood. Have you got it yet? <laughs> okay. So I went, go to the pharmacy and she says to me, Mr. Sanford, the, the insurance company only gives four a month of this medication. I said, four a month? Is the insurance company made out of women? Nothing but women? It sounds like my ex-wife. Four a month this will do you just fine. That's all anybody really needs. So, don't moan or anything like that. You know, I might just, anyway. Uh, so, so I go online to get some more chemicals, and sure enough, it says, uh, this is guaranteed to make your sexual organ, notice how nicely I put that, your sexual organ lot larger. And so I take it, sure enough, my prostate is that big. So I go to the prostate doctor, and the prostate doctor is plying his craft. I'm not going to explain what this is. Uh, there are children uh, plying his craft. And uh, he says to me, who do you like for the Republican nomination? I say, doctor, you just tell me what answer you want to hear. I've been waterboarded before. <laughs> he says, okay, over you go. We're going to go in from the front. Now, this has gone in through the urethra. That's the uh, eye in the, in the one-eyed snake. Thing. And so he has a little machine that's kind of like a roto-rooter. And he goes, shoots out the water. To, oh, I just like this. It's on again, off again stuff. I've had so many relationships, not like it. And it's, it's, it just goes in, and uh, and he gets halfway in, and he says, "Now this might be a bit uncomfortable." Ha! Like it's been a walk in the park up till then. So he gets in, and he's all the way in. And he says, "Now he's a fashion photographer." He says, "Now uh, cross your legs. That's good. That's really good." Arch your back, yes, and wet your lips. Oh, I like that. We're getting some really good shots. And he uh, pulls it. I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy. Pulls it out. And, uh, and then he says, take it easy for the rest of the day. Well, I don't know what he meant by that, but I thought about this, about how important... Prevention is how early detection, thank you, how early detection is so important in the prevention of all cancers, including prostate cancer. 32,000 people died of prostate cancer in 2010. Any of you among them? No? None of you died in 2010? But, uh, and all of them were men, which I think is some kind of conspiracy. So they, uh, 
And the thing is, you have to get used to the idea that somebody else's body is going to be in your body. And a lot of guys say, oh, I just find that creepy. But they say this to their women. Their women say, you have your body inside my body, and it's supposed to feel good. So they practice. Practice at home. Practice the friendly finger at home. Get used to it. So your guy will feel comfortable to go and get that exam. This has been a fake public service announcement. <laughs> if it had been a real public service announcement, I'd have been a lot better looking. <laughs> yeah.